Hello friends, I'm Varun and welcome to my channel IT with Varun to master the fundamentals. Today we'll understand a very critical concept required for testing ID general controls in a system or better known as ITGCs. So what is this concept? It's all about understanding what is a system and what needs to be looked at in a system from a risk and ITGC perspective. Friends, we have to remember this that whatever is being discussed in this video is all related to the risk and ITGC lens we put on our system. So there might be a lot more attached to a system but this is all about extracting the pieces which are relevant from a risk and ITGC perspective. So when we talk about the term testing in risk, audit and compliance world, it means to review system evidence. That's a simple meaning of, of what a testing means in, in this world. Friends, I've created separate videos on a number of important topics like understanding IT general controls, difference between IT audit and compliance, three lines of defense, understanding IT risk. So please watch those videos in any order as you like for an in-depth understanding because all of these topics are correlated and those concepts will really help you understand this important concept. I've also posted all the links in the description section of this video for your convenience. Now coming back to this IT general control testing across a system and understanding what basically is a system. For this we need to first understand what the layered or tiered architecture behind a system is and why is it relevant from a risk perspective. So what we'll do in this video is we'll peel different layers to understand a system. Again it might appear a, a bit of a complex topic right and you see uh, my whole board is full but what we'll do as we do in all our videos I'll break it down for you in simple concepts so it, it's going to look very easy and very simple. Now any system has three key tiers or layers. Application, server or better known as operating system and database. And all of this sits in a boundary which we call the network. Now application is basically the front end or user interface as we better know it where we see things on the screen or interact with. Server and database, they constitute the backend or the infrastructure as it's better known as. Now we understood application, I think everybody knows this. What we see on the screen, it's, it's an application, right? It's important to dive into this server layer. Now drilling a bit further into this layer, there are three types of server which are of core importance from a risk and ITGC perspective. There are, there are a lot more, but from a risk and IT general control perspective, these three are important. Application server, database server, and web server. So as the name implies, both application and web server, they support an application. Difference is, web server supports the static pages like HTML, while the application server will support dynamic pages like GSP or servlets. If we were to choose between these from a risk perspective from this bucket, I will go with application server first, then database server, and then a web server. Because at times we need to pick one server for risk audit or compliance assessments. Now the database server also supports or hosts a database. And this is the relationship between a server and a database. So a database is hosted on a server or an operating system because it needs an operating system to run. When we talk about this last layer, the database layer, as the name suggests, it is all about data which resides in a database. right? And we already talked about the simple relationship between the server and a database where database is hosted on a server. All of this we are talking about is purely from a software perspective. But as you guys know, hardware is also required to run most of these components, right? 
and those physical CPUs, if you go back to those old days where you had those boxes or whatever we see in a data center, those when those come into the picture, they all constitute what we call the network or the boundary. Now, one thing we have understood from this this part side of the screen is application, a basic front end through which you can interact on the screen. The, the data which is getting fetched on the screen gets fetched from the database layer. That's where the data resides. And database requires a server where it gets hosted. So this is the whole correlation between the three layers. So there's a lot of, lot of interdependency. That's the reason when we put a risk lens, we look at all the three layers which constitutes the system. To further solidify our understanding, let's take a simple example. Let's take an e-commerce application for buying products online. And let's assume it's supported by a Windows application server and an Oracle database hosted on a Linux server, just to get some variety. Now, all of this software and hardware components are hosted in the internal company network for this example. And we have already learned about how those software versus hardware components and what resides in a network, right? Those pieces which we dealt with in the, in the prior section. Now let us identify the relevant components from a risk perspective based on what we have learned so far. So e-commerce application becomes our application layer. Our application server in this example is our Windows server. The database server is the Linux server and the database itself is, is Oracle. So that's, that's where the data is hosted. So we have a flavor of Oracle database, Windows application server, Linux database server, which is all supporting this e-commerce application from a front end perspective. Now, once we clearly know these components, or layers of a system, it is so, so easy to take the ID General Control Framework, logical access, change management, operations, and information security controls, which I've discussed in detail in a separate video titled, ID General Controls, SOCs and Risk Based Approach. So please watch it, friends. Uh, it will help you deepen your understanding on what this ID General Control Framework is. So this framework can now be applied across all of these layers, different layers we have, we have discussed. Now how to apply ID general controls across all of these layers is a separate topic in itself and requires a deep dive. So friends, I hope this video helped in understanding the layer designs of a system. Again, from a risk and IDGC perspective, thanks for listening. And for more such videos, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you next time. Till then, bye.